Hello, this is Aubrey Bursch from Easy School Marketing. I'm so excited to be with you today. So as we're all dealing with the coronavirus and the economic ups and downs, I'm here for you. So um, today I wanted to talk with you about a subject I'm hearing a lot of small schools talk about, and that is, do we need to market? Should we be marketing and selling during this time? And my answer obviously is going to be, yes, of course you need to be doing this, but you want to know why. And so here's what I'm going to tell you. So as we're looking at, you know, how we're spending our funds now, and you know, with uncertain economic times, a lot of small schools are cutting back on marketing. They're cutting back on their advertising. They're cutting back on, you know, creating new things like virtual tours and stuff like that. And they're just cutting that out completely. And they're, and what I want to tell them is don't do it. <laughs> Why? Because they're not distinguishing between an expense and a revenue generator. When done properly, marketing is a revenue generator. An expense is like stopping your dumpster, remove, the dumpster removal service when you're not at school, turning off the lights, lowering the temperature, cut your expenses that you're not using. However, a revenue generator like marketing brings in the money. So if you cut that off, you don't have the money coming in. And some people are like, oh, we'll just cut off the marketing until it gets back to normal. Newsflash, <laughs> we don't know when that will be. And people who stop, like stop marketing, stop that all, stop the brand awareness, those are the people who are gonna be starting all over again in the future. And it's gonna be a tough up, <laughs> uphill battle. And the other thing that I wanna say is there's a quote, and I'm sure I'm not saying it right, but it's like, be, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. And this is a perfect example of that. So fearful schools, small independent schools are not marketing well, they're not loading their social media, they're not doing their virtual tours or advertising them, they cut their Google ads budget, they cut their Facebook budget. However, this is a time when you need to be greedy, okay? With all those people cut out of the, the, the space, that gives you more of an opportunity to shine. In addition, now more than ever, people are online. Parents are online all the time, okay? Online businesses are blowing up left and right. Social media is blowing up left and right. This is the time to shine. This is your time. So don't stop marketing. <laughs> and the last thing I wanna say is that when you're thinking about the future, there is going to be a new normal and you might never go back to being exactly how you are, at least for the next year. So this is a time to strategically think about innovative marketing. What can you market? What can you sell? That isn't necessarily what you've always done. Same target market, but different offerings. This is going to help you stay fresh in the future. So I hope this was helpful to you. Remember, don't stop marketing. <laughs> Trust me, you'll thank me later. Uh, I am here for you always. Connect with me on LinkedIn or email me at aubrey at easyschoolmarketing.com. I'll see you soon.